Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the complex analysis. Today I will explain you the concept of the Cauchy integral formula. I will give you the easiest way how you can remember this formula. Myself, Dr. Harish Kar. You can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the complex analysis. In this playlist, you can see the various lectures start from the basic of the complex numbers to the Cauchy Riemann equations, polar form, harmonic functions, complex integrations, complex Morera theorem and many more lecture available in this playlist. You can follow this YouTube channel and the playlist so that when I upload my next video, you will get the notification. So now students, let's start with this video. So what we have discussed in our last lecture, which is available in this playlist, you can see the last lecture was on the Cauchy integral theorem. And what, what this theorem stated you, if you have the function f of z, which is analytic, in the region R or in the region C, then you can say the integration of the Fz over the curve C is my zero. Fine. That is a Cauchy integral theorem. Now, what can you say about that? If the function is not analytic at some point, for example, if I say one over Z minus one, and my domain is mod of Z is circle of radius two then clearly say 1 over z minus 1 is not analytic at z is equal to 1, which is a part of the domain. Fine. So if the function is not analytic in the domain, then this integration over the curve C is my non-zero. Fine. And if it is non-zero, then the quotient arises is. What is the quotient arises is? If it is a non-zero, then how we can calculate its value. How we can calculate its exact value. Fine. So then the question arises is how we can calculate its exact value. The answer of this question is given in this lecture. So that will we will learn the formula which is known as the Cauchy integral formula which is useful only when the function is not analytic. That means in this lecture, you are able to understand how you can evaluate, how you can find the answer of this problem. Fine. If it is not analytic, then if it is analytic, then you can apply the Cauchy theorem. If the function is not analytic, then you can apply the Cauchy integral formula. Now, what is the statement of the Cauchy integral formula? If you have the complex function f of z, which is analytic within and on the simple connected domain C A is at any point inside it, then Fz over Z minus A. The integration of this will be my F of A. Remember, F is my analytic while Fz over Z minus A is not analytic. Fine. Is not analytic at Z is equal to A. So if you find the function which is analytic, the answer will be F of A. Now, the proof is a very, very simple. Firstly, I can consider the function f of z over z minus a. Clearly say this function is not analytic at z is equal to a. So what does it mean? It means f z over z minus a is my non-zero. Fine. So once the function is my not analytic, what does it mean? Is not analytic at z is equal to a. So what can you say about that? I can construct a one circle. I can construct a one circle with center A, radius R. Fine. I call it as a circle is C1. Fine. So I can construct A is my center. Radius is R. So this is my radius R. And I can draw the circle C1. Then clearly say the function Fz over Z minus A is analytic between the C and C1. Is it okay? Then F over F Z minus A is analytic between C and C C1. Then what does it mean? By using this multiple connected Cauchy integral theorem, the integration of both will be same. Fine. Then what does the meaning of that? If both are same, because our target is to find the value of the left hand side over the reason C, I can add and subtract f of a on the circle C1. 
I can write this one. Is it fine? Now I can separate them. It will be C1 Fz minus Fa over Z minus A plus over the C1 F of A divided by Z minus A. Our target is to find the values of these two integration over the curve C1. And what is the C1 is? C1 is the equation of the circle with the center A radius is R. Fine. So can you write the parametric equation of the circle? That is a Z minus A is R e raised to power iota T. Then I can substitute this value in these two equations. Can I find this value? It is my F of A. What is a Z minus A is R e raised to power iota T. What is the value of the dz? R iota e raised to power iota t and the limits are from 0 to 2 pi. Similarly, I can substitute here f of z. What is the z is a plus r e raised to power iota t minus f of a z minus a is r e raised to power iota t into r iota e raised to power iota t into dt limits are from 0 to 2 pi fine so clearly say r will be cancelled e raised to power iota will be cancelled so i can take an iota is common then the limits are from 0 to 2 pi fine i can take an iota is a common then limit is from 0 to 2 pi f of a plus r e raised to power iota t minus f of a into dt fine now clearly say this limit will goes to the zero when r will goes to the zero fine because whenever r goes to the zero this value will be zero f of a minus f a that is my zero fine so this limit will goes to the zero as r approaches zero similarly for this case again i can substitute the value of the z minus a which is r e raised to power iota t r iota e raised to power iota t into dt so you can see r will be cancelled e raised to power iota cancel from 0 to 2 pi so with respect to t you can see f of a is common iota is common then the limit will be 0 to 2 pi of dt answer is my 2 pi iota of f a i can substitute both the values in this equation number one this value will be my zero the answer of this will be my 2 pi iota f of a. So that means I can get the value of the f of a is 2 pi iota times fz over z minus a. And that's a simple proof of this result. Fine. I hope you can like and comment on this video as well. Now I will explain you this proof with the help of the numerical examples. So firstly, let me quickly recall the proof. You can see what is given to you? The function is my analytic. Fine. Once the function is analytic, then f of z over z minus a is not analytic. We can construct the circle. Inside this circle, the function is my analytic. Then by applying the Cauchy integral formula, we can write the equation in this form. Fine. Your target is to evaluate these two integrals over the curve C1. And the equation of the curve C1 is z minus a of radius r. I can substitute both the values in the given equations and you will get the answer as 0 and 2 pi iota f of a. Substitute these both values in the equation number 1, you will get the required proof of the result. Now, let's see how you can solve the few examples. Whenever you have seen the integration, firstly draw, this, draw the curve. This is the equation of the circle. What is the center is 0, radius is half. If I draw the circle, center is 0, radius is half. So this is my half. Fine. So your shaded area is my this case. Can you find the pole of the given function? So what is the pole is? When you take denominator as my 0, z plus 1 is 0. That means z is my minus 1. Fine. And you can see this is my 1. Where is the minus 1 lies? Minus 1 lies at? outside the circle and once it lies outside the circle what does it means it means the function here is my analytic 
for all those domain fine so that means the function is my analytic everywhere and once this is analytic everywhere that means the integration is my g so your right answer of this problem is my g look at the next example where you can see the function is not analytic so can you see can you draw the curve z plus 3 iota is 1 what is that this r is my radius what is the center center is my minus 3 iota fine because you always compare with z minus r z minus a is equal to r so can you find the center center is my minus 3 iota so that means 0 x is my 0 y is equal to minus 3 so 0 y is equal to minus 3 radius is 1 so this is my minus 3 so this is my minus of 2 this is my minus 4 so the circle with center minus center minus 3 radius 1 so that is my equation of the circle fine so can you find the pole of this what is a pole z into z plus pi iota is 0 that means z is equal to 0 and z is equal to minus pi iota corresponding to this point the coordinate is my 0 comma 0 corresponding to the minus pi iota x is my 0 y is equal to minus pi iota you can compare with x plus y iota always so where is the 0 0 lies 0 0 lies outside the domain fine because my domain is this circle and minus 0 minus pi so minus 3.1415 so this is a minus 3.15 so that means only this pole lies inside the circle fine so that means the only this pole lies inside the circle therefore this integration is my non-zero and once this is my non-zero can you find the value of the f can you find the value of this so clearly say i can take this the pole so what is the remaining side 1 over z i can take f of z is my 1 over z so the answer of this problem is i can take f z is take f z is 1 over z so the answer is 2 pi iota f of center so minus pi because the only pole which is lies inside is minus pi iota so can you get the answer of this 2 pi iota 1 over minus pi iota answer is my minus 2 is the correct answer of this problem fine so i have considered two cases the first case is when it is analytic then the answer will be zero if it is not analytic you can find the point which lies inside the curve and then you can apply the cauchy integral formula i hope you can like and comment on this video as well we will see more than 25 examples on this concept in our next lecture till then you can watch this video again and learn the concept of the Cauchy integral formula. I hope you can share this video with your friends and don't forget to share, like and comment on this video. Best of luck students. Happy learning always.